Welcome back. All new at six, a hands on lesson today for some South Florida students, one designed to promote healthy habits into adulthood. And this makes so much sense when you think about it. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn explains why today's lesson could only be held in a garden. Students here at James Bright Elementary School, uh, we're not only learning about how to have some fun and get their hands a little dirty, but how to eat right. Food guides often taught in schools have changed through the years. It hasn't been until recently that there's been a push to integrate growing foods with other classroom lessons. One, two, three. Woo! And James Bright Elementary just cut the ribbon on a brand new community garden. It'll do more than grow produce. It's rooting healthy habits in young children. Because they like to participate, planting the seeds, watching the plants grow, watering them. This is a third grade garden. We have the cucumbers. Cathy Leon is a third grade teacher. We have talked about it and we are incorporating healthy eating habits in the science curriculum. The garden came about through a coalition of leaders with the city of Hialeah School Board and Fairlawn Community Neighborhood Ambassadors. Garden here was done thinking of providing teachers tools in order to teach the kids, the children, how to eat healthy. And nationally, childhood obesity rates have risen. The Robert Wood Johnson Foundation tracks federal data. It shows nearly 18% of Florida youth ages 10 to 17 have obesity. The trend hasn't dipped much in years. I think the new idea of saying food is medicine is everything we've been seeing across the globe. Dr. Deborah Duro, a pediatric specialist at Broward Health, tells us increasing rates of diabetes, hypertension, high blood pressure among adults is a result of poor diets from early ages. And uh, this engagement is, is very important because uh, it's going to get them the power, the power of, uh, you know, um, actually a, a, a healthy lifestyle, which come with the power, I always say the power of the plate. So this garden will bear lifelong lessons for some time. And among other things, it's a lesson in slower food. Um, we planted them about three weeks ago and we can already see the little plants. So I'm, I'm estimating maybe another month before we can actually eat the vegetables. And the teachers are hoping to put together a salad when all of this stuff matures to really celebrate the fruits of their labor. In Hialeah, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS4 News. Fruits and vegetables of their labor. New